What is up guys and welcome back. This video I'm going to show you how to maximize your profits from upgrading buildings and or pretty much upgrading everything really. So I've spent weeks, you could even say months preparing this. As you can see, I've got 21 days. It started off at 65. So that's how many days I waited until the impenetrable territory uh, event comes on. As you can see on the right hand side over here, construction is reduced to zero time and the impenetrable territory impenetrable territory sorry is going to give me some blueprints right there the premium blueprints and that's what i'm after really and of course some of the letters of mark tickets so i've got enough food there to upgrade my fort again once i've sped this one up so essentially i'll have two level 29 fort upgrades and then i upgrade a couple of times my research center as well to try and see where I will place in this impenetrable territory event. And now, I mean, going into this, I thought, yeah, I'll be getting way up there to number one, maybe even the top three, but it still wasn't the case. So I upgraded in the end. Uh, we'll go through it, but I upgraded, I think, three or four buildings and um, big ones, you know, big buildings. And um, when I'm speeding up like this, I like to use a little bit of everything because it's always good to have different quantities of speed up amounts so they can properly calculate it sometimes. Okay, so that is 29.5. So there's one more upgrade needed. As you can see, I got my impenetrable territory um, profits right there. So for starters, I didn't get close <laughs> to my blueprints. But um, I mean, it is better than just doing it for nothing. And uh, obviously you get that as well. And then you get your ranking down at the bottom and you'll get more rewards for that as well. I don't mention it now, but there's also secret missions with building uh, perks on as well. So as you can see here, this will be my final upgrade for level 29. It'll be instant because the event is on. <clears throat> and again, this is all planned out over months and months. So there it is. So now I thought, yeah, I want to get nice and far up there in the rankings. But uh, as you will see, it's not quite the case. I didn't even get to my fucking blueprints on the second attempt. So now I'm like, okay, uh, there is no other building up I can upgrade that is more than the Fort level 29.5 and 6. So I was like, okay. Uh, let's just see if there's something else we can do. And there is the secret mission I mentioned. Ideally, you would want both of these to have a building perk on them, a building mission. But uh, I waited long enough and uh, I found just one. Normally, you can have uh, two secret missions of building and that will definitely max maximize your profits. So as you can see here, my whole aim at this point was to get the mana warships. But I've currently learned that um, I am very, very far from that. And I knew I'd need to upgrade more buildings to get the mana warship. But... Um, Speaking to some of our new members in our alliance, you can check the description for details of that. Um, I mustn't go anywhere near the Man of Wars until my current ships are 100% max. And I mean 30, level 35 and at least between 40 and 50% on the Calypso's Blessing. Then you upgrade your ship. Because if you upgrade them at the current level they are now, like 20 or 21, then you're actually losing out. And your ships won't be as powerful. And it will cost more to upgrade them when you upgrade your ship. So definitely maximize your ship 100% first. So as you can see here, I upgraded the research area. And uh, to no avail, I still don't have my blueprints. Now I realize those other blueprints are going to be far out of reach. So what am I sitting with? 28 million, I think it is there. So as you can see here, if you're gunning to build the ships, then you start from the ships and work backwards. It'll tell you everything you need to build or craft or research right here. So for starters, I need to research the Man of War. And to do that, I need a level 30 research area. So that is obviously what I've just done right now. Also, you need the cannons. But to do that, you need to upgrade 10 other things as well. So at this point, I'm still looking at hundreds of millions of resources away from actually getting the Man of War. But at the moment, I'm not too phased because I'm pulling back and I'm going to focus on my ships. Because at the moment, there is a count on ships event. And uh, the money I would normally spend on upgrading the buildings, I just throw all of it into the ships and speed them up. Or leave them for a couple of days and then speed them up. And um, it's very, very helpful. You can also drop your pirates, your visiting pirates, <coughs> on there to speed it up. So having a look here, as you can see, I need the cannon workshop. So that's one, two, three, four levels of that I need, which is, you know, over 100 million, 120, 30 million. And then with the going back to the ship, uh, I need the cannon workshop as well and the research, which is right over there. And to be able to research, I need level 30 law. So again, 28 million. So I upgraded that to level 2 or 29.2. And as you can see, I eventually got my premium blueprints. So I was stoked with that. I only need about or just over 100 more. 
excuse me, I'm still feeling a bit ill. But yeah, that is um, still so far ahead. Those guys are so far ahead, it's ridiculous. It makes you wonder what the hell they're upgrading. So as you can see here, now I'm out of resources and I've got a long way to go. But like I mentioned, my um, my goals were different recording this and recording the the uh, commentary is a good couple of weeks uh, separate. So now I'm going to grab all my rewards from here. And then I should have grabbed all my rewards from the secret missions. But uh, I'll skip ahead and do that as well. So as you can see here, I mean, you can upgrade these buildings anytime you want. But there's, there's, it's so beneficial to wait. Before you do anything in this game, you got to wait. I mean, before I attack monsters now, I use my um, daily bonus monster perk up, uh, buff up. And uh, as well as the... Um, Merchant ships, I wait until I get my bonus rewards for the merchant ships, then I put them on a, a streak to do merchant ships. You get 30% more merchant goods from them. As you can see here, there's a man of war a ship upgrade, tier upgrade. Thing is, you can only use this if you can physically build a man of war at your, uh, at your docks, at your ship building docks. So this over here, I'm just collecting my rewards. Now, what I did notice when I looked at this, uh, again, before doing my commentary, is that I could easily just do the Man of War transfer for 14,000 gold, which is nothing in the grander scheme of things. But uh, I had my button, my mouse hovering over the transform just to do it. But then I realized, no, I mustn't do that at all. I need to upgrade my ships to level 35 and get the Calypso's Blessing all the way up. So you need to save up hundreds of thousands of gold to be able to do the Calypso's Blessing. Because it'll start off pretty cheap and then it'll, it'll jump to like 170, 180,000 a pop. But your chances increase of getting a higher percentage. So it does pan out. So looking at this generally, I've got a shit ton far away to go before I even have my mana wars. Because uh, I want to upgrade everything I can to the max. So unfortunately, I didn't get any uh, letters of mark or privateers licenses there in that run. But I do have a lot of privateers licenses. I wish I did now. I'm running very low on those, and the only way to get them quickly is to hunt monsters. And uh, it is fairly quickly, but you'll use four or five hundred of your capture tools, which is your hunting streaks. I've always wondered why they call it capture tools and not, you know, hunting streaks. But uh, looking over here, that is the tear up ticket. And this is the part when I looked at the video and I was like, hold on, 14,000, I'll definitely do that. And then you've got to hold your horses. Before you click any button, this, you've got to take a step back and Think about, is it the best time to push that button? Is it not? Should I wait for an event to be on? And the answer is yes, definitely yes. Um, if I hadn't waited for an event to be on, I wouldn't have had any of those resources that I collected from the impenetrable territory. So it's definitely worth it. I mean, if you're going to upgrade ships, you might as well upgrade them when there's a ship secret mission on. If you're going to upgrade buildings, same thing. Wait until there's a mission for building upgrades, then do it. Because you're losing out on a shit ton of stuff if you just do this at random. As you can see, level 20, I'm about 24, 25 now, uh, being a couple of weeks ago, this recording. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna focus on upgrading the ships to the max. And there is the one secret mission with the building. And like I mentioned before, it's best to wait until you have both of those for building. But I waited <laughs> three, four weeks to get uh, to the point where I had the impenetrable territory the um, instant build upgrade, as well as a secret mission with the building, and I thought, fuck it. So as you can see there, um, I'm number one on that, but uh, that will soon change. And on the impenetrable territory, I'm still only rank six or seven or even eight after doing two fortress upgrades and two uh, law collection upgrades as well. So you have to upgrade. It makes you wonder how much money these guys throw at this. But guys, if you have any questions at all, please message me. I'm always going to reply. Please smash the like button if you are enjoying the content and subscribe if you are really enjoying it. So I want to say thanks for watching, guys, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.